Hello, I'm Tyler Odenthal, and I'm here with another chatbot. Uh, this one is called Political Bot, and it's designed to help educate voters about a uh, upcoming political candidate. Um, and this one is designed uh, for Jay Inslee. So let's just jump right into it. Let's click Get Started, and it opens up with uh, a nice picture of Jay's face. Uh, those of you who don't know, Jay Inslee is the governor of Washington. And it says, hello, Tyler. Uh, welcome to Jay Inslee on Facebook Messenger. And it explains what this is. It's a tool to help people better access political and social information about Governor Jay Inslee. Um, it says, if you want to learn more about Jay Inslee, you can tap the About Jay button. And if you're interested more about Jay Inslee's political issues, you can tap uh, the Issues button. Um, and if you look down here, there's a couple buttons. There's issues, donate, about J, newsletter, social media, and live chat. So all of these go to different things, and some of these things are stacked with um, more things underneath it. So uh, I'll just uh, click social media real quick because it's fast, um, and you'll get an idea of what's going on. Um, so these are things called cards. Uh, you can design them with a photo, um, a title, uh, a description, and a link. So these are links for Jay Inslee, um, and this would be designed for any political candidate. So your Twitter would go up here, your Medium, uh, your Facebook if you have one, um, and etc. So now we have issues, donate, about Jay, etc. Um, you can either tap the buttons or you can access all these features by uh, type command or voice command as well. So um, if you click issues, it'll open up to the types of issues that the bot is programmed with and the types of responses that Jay Inslee um, would have to those issues. Um, so I'm, uh, like I said, you can access it via the buttons or I'm going to actually try to type one. So I'm going to type a question. Um, so I'm going to ask, what are your uh, stances on transportation? Let's see if that works. What are your stances on transportation? So it reads the intention of the phrase that I told the political bot, and it will respond with things about Jay Inslee around transportation. So in 2015, Governor Jay Inslee led the efforts to secure the largest single transportation investment in state's history. Uh, the 16 billion bipartisan package addresses critical maintenance and safety needs around the state, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then it provides um, Links to these statements, um, and these statements were taken off of Jay Inslee's uh, government website um, about transportation. So it's kind of already pre-built to answer this question um, based on its knowledge base. Um, and then here are some links that are um, particularly relevant to transportation. So like autonomous vehicles, um, electrification of Washington's uh, roadways, um, transportation investment package, etc. Um, what are your pol political views on gun violence? Uh, let's just try another issue. So it'll pop up with uh, something very similar to when I asked about transportation. So you could see how this could be used as a very nice tool to educate uh, particular voters on things that they might not otherwise know about um, a candidate um, or their stances if they just need to be clarified. Like, I don't know a candidate's particular stance on something. I can just easily access it um, via a question to a um, political bot. Um, and then, do you do donations? Obviously, I can tap it, but I just want to see it's, if it's set up. Yep, OK. So if someone were to ask if you do donations um, inside Facebook, it would obviously pop up to this. Um, the system can also be hooked up to a website. Um, you know, those little tiny buttons down the corner that uh, pop up and say, hey, do you want to chat with me? Uh, it's this type of system that it, those are designed with. Um, click about J. It'll pop up with more information about J, which I think would be relevant to it people who are interested in voting for Jay Inslee in the future or currently. So as it gets through that, 
Go on to the next feature. And it just gives a little background on them, and if you want to read more, you can read more here. Let's just click it. Opens up to about J, goes to his government website. Uh, you can't read it up here, but it's governor.wa.gov, so it opens up to a government website. Um, you can sign up for a newsletter. So this is just a really fast way for people to get uh, get an email. So it says, do you want to sign up for James Lee's newsletter? Yep, definitely do. And it will pop up with a button. So you just click that button real quick, and then the bot now has the email, or uh, the political candidate's campaign team now has the email. Um, so I already showed you, showed you social media. Um, live chat's kind of nice. So what live chat does is it sends a little notification to um, the support team, and the support team would be managing the bot. Um, so what it will do is it says before we notify our support team, it's like, hey, maybe these things will help you out because what you're about to do if you click this live chat button is you're going to ping uh, the support team's phone. So I'm going to click live chat and within, so it's going to ask first ask what you're prompted with. I want to talk about the environment policy. Act a little mad, maybe a mad emoji, who knows? A little upside down face. Throw that out there away. Cool. And it says your question is I want to talk about environmental policy. Yep. Yes I do. So once when you get through the little survey response, it says a member of your team will be with you shortly. And what that does is it actually sends uh, a text to me um, about the support team. So says I want to start a conversation with myself, which is true, um, and then I would go to the dashboard to answer that. Um, so I'll stop. So someone would have addressed this with live chat, and that's what live chat is for. Um, and then the last thing I, I guess I want to show off of, about um, the political bot is a database feature that I built. And what the database feature does is that when you join into one of these systems, it'll check databases for that user. So it'll do like a little background check on them. So we're just going to use my sister um, because my sister is a nurse and she's registered as a nurse inside um, the Washington State Nurse Database. So um, like I said, when someone were to join this bot, if my sister would have joined this bot, um, now the political team would know that she's a nurse. So we'll just do Kayla. And I feel like this database system is very applicable to all um, industries, but very much so for a political candidate. Because if you don't know who you're talking to or who your voters are, um, you're not probably going to do very well in the polls. So we just typed in Kayla Odenthal, which is my sister, and it says, How healthcare worker found. So we now know that she's a healthcare worker that gets sent to the backend database for the political candidate. Here's her healthcare information. Um, it has her credentials, um, when she was activated, her birth year. Um, not too serious information. Um, but hey, at least now you know that she's a registered nurse. She's interested in... Jay Inslee because she joined the bot um, and then you get access to anything else that she's clicked so uh, that's just a little rundown of the political bot and uh, I'll catch you guys next time um, with another bot